Charlie Cats, any viewers. So today is another installment of Dun 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 Inside Alyssa White. Inside Alyssa White is where you ask me questions and I answer them and we just have a lot of fun and it's not serious at all and yeah you can just laugh at me being stupid. The first question is from Robert Santellen and he asks, any tips for cheering up someone currently in a slump? Usually what helps me if I'm ever in a slump is I just fully delve into like films or games or reading or something like that. I just have to escape from my life into someone else's life and that's not healthy at all. Or I just make a lot of videos or I write a lot of articles for my blog or something. Just something to get the creative juices flowing and something to help me escape. Dwelling on it makes it worse and I'm sure you already know that. I'm not really helpful with this though, <laughs> but yeah, I say totally just either get your creative juices flowing by making something creative or by escaping into another world via gaming or movies or TV shows or books or something like that. Joe Manganaro, Mango Joe, asks, now that the season is over, where would you rank this season of Game of Thrones over the previous seasons? I actually really love this season and I'd say it's probably my second favorite after the first season just because it was so well acted. There are so many jaw dropping moments and especially the Battle of the Bastards was so fantastic and so well done and so heartbreaking. It totally won the season for me just because it was such an amazing episode. Chris42828 asks, do you have both Xbox One and PS4? I do have both and I love them both to death and yeah, that's that. <laughs> Intimidation has a few questions and he asks, first up, what's your favorite snack? I have a major sweet tooth so I pretty much love stuff like cookies, brownies, cupcakes, stuff like that. So if I shouldn't like that, I just like way too much to not eat. Two, if you could communicate with any animals except for dogs, cats, and horses, what would they be and what would you ask them? Um, this is really difficult because I already told you all those. <laughs> I think I would want to talk to birds just to see like how it is to feel to fly and how it feels to poop on people's stuff and not have any regrets about it. So birds. Three, if you could use Nathan Drake in any other video game, what would it be? Oh, that's a good one. Got my secret, can you keep this for this one you'll save? Sorry. I think I'd put Nathan Drake in the Mass Effect games just so I could make him my cuddle buddy because that would really happen and it would happen a lot in those games because yeah shadow the oblivious you should totally check out his channel by the way he's fantastic he asks if you had to face me in a game of uno who do you think would win well seeing as i haven't played uno in years you would probably beat me and plus i suck at card games so you still beat me so it's gonna be you clayton whitehurst asks if you could instantly have any talent that you lack, what would it be? I would really love to be able to draw because I'm always in awe of people who can draw and I can just do stick figures and even then they look really crappy. So yeah, drawing. Jessica Lannon asks, I'm just starting out my channel. Do you have any suggestions or tips on how to make a good channel slash videos that people actually want to watch? Mo mostly just make videos that you want to make. Like talk about things you're passionate about, have fun. Don't just do whatever you think other people would like because if you do that, yeah, you might get views, but you'll get burned out really easily. So make videos that you're really passionate about and just have a lot of fun. MDMAX09 asks, what already movie sequel would you change and how would you change it? You know, I don't think I would change any sequel, even the really shitty ones, because, you know, they're either the creative vision of the director or, you know, they're just a lesson and what not to do, and we need lessons, so I don't think I'll change any. Todd All Things Horror asks, How cool does For Honor look? It looks really cool. I'm not exactly sold on it yet, but I'll definitely keep an eye on it and check out reviews when it comes out and stuff like that and see if it kind of meshes with what I like, but I mean, I'm totally digging the medieval aspect of it for sure. Shin Marayu asks, if you were a Disney princess, what would your style be, your personality be, and what would be your story? If I were a Disney princess, okay. Well, I think I already am one though, so is that is this fair? I'll just go ahead and answer it. My style would definitely involve a lot of pink because pink's my favorite color, so I need a really pretty pink glittery ball gown. 
my personality would be just the way I am right now because no one's changing me. It would be my story. Oh gosh. I don't know if I'd change my story. Like even the really crappy parts of my life, I don't think I'd change. But, but, I would make Sam Hewitt my Prince Charming because everyone knows how much I love Sam Hewitt and I just want to marry him and make beautiful babies with him. That's all I want in life. Pizza power asks, how many pets have you had? I've had two hamsters, three cats, and one dog, so six. Those were all the questions for this installment of Inside Alyssa White. If you'd like to ask me anything, leave it in the comment box down below. It can seriously be pretty much about anything. Like the video if you liked it. Share the video if you'd like to. That actually really helped me a lot. And don't forget to subscribe and become a part of the Alley Cat family because it's awesome. And everything is awesome. And everything is cool when you're part of a team. You get to hear me sing. Gosh. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, all those are linked down below in the description box so we can be best friendsies. And thank you so much for watching. I love you all so very much as crazy. Peace and kisses. Bye.